Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So don't forget for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Hey you guys, so I wanted to come on in and talk about the whole Wendy Williams situation. So as you guys all know, she's supposed to have been back on her show. She's literally canceled her return date, not once, not twice, but three times. Williams' latest health scare coming on the heels of a string of alarming incidents dating back to October of 2017 when she fainted while hosting her show. That was not a stunt. I'm overheated in my costume and I did pass out. Just last month, Williams told her audience she suffered a hairline fracture to her right shoulder, but didn't say how the injury happened. I'm on the men's. I don't need an operation. They tell me I'm very healthy. Just days later, Williams raising concerns on social media when she began slurring her speech on air. Williams posted a statement on Instagram later that day apologizing for a less than seller show and explaining she'd taken medication to manage her shoulder pain. Now this morning, as fans send their well wishes, it remains unclear when Williams will return to work and get back to spilling the tea. And now she's scheduled to come back on January 28th. So initially, before she left, it looked like she was going through a lot. She was slurring her words. Um, I had did a video a few weeks ago about her apology. And she was saying that the reason why she was slurring her words is because, you know, she's been on pain medicine, because she fractured her shoulder. Our iconic hip hop trio, Black China, is suing the Kardashians for getting her show canceled. She's blaming them because allegedly there are emails alleging that Chloe and Kylie leaked the emails alleging that allegedly fake. Kylie is saying it's an alleged fake relationship. Do you think? And, and even promised the Kardashians would film extra episodes to make up for the cancellation of the China and Black show. Like, we'll do what you want. Very nice. All right, Latifah, we're gonna show you a celebrity photo and what you have to do. Latifah, can we have a conversation? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay. I, I So you guys just saw the compilation. You guys also saw the tweets and the comments and, you know, folks just really genuinely concerned about what's going on with Wendy Williams, okay? So after this went viral, Wendy Williams took to Instagram. She basically posted the following message. I'm gonna go ahead and read this to you guys. Go ahead and check this out. So Wendy Williams says, to my Wendy watchers, I sincerely apologize if you feel like today's show was less than stellar. I'm on your TV screens every day wanting to spread laughter, entertainment, and cheer. As I reported earlier in the week, I have a hairline fracture on my upper arm, which hurts like hell. I've never broken a bone or experienced a fracture in my life. In the key place where the fracture is and trying to scurry around and do too much, I am now paying the price. I've never taken pain medication in my life except for when I got snatched over 20 years ago until this week. I did that to power through and try to deliver a great show to you against better judgment of many people around me who genuinely care for my well-being and really do ride or die for my craft, craft and give 200%. Not to mention that everyone is aware at this point about my thyroid condition, don't cry for me Argentina, for my fellow thyroid sufferers, you know what the deal is. And, and for those that don't, I encourage you to please read up. Needless to say, whatever today's performance was with the legendary The Locks, who said such nice, who said such nice things, I have no regrets and I appreciate everyone's genuine concern for my wellness and care. I promise you a better Wendy in 2019. I will get some much needed rest and healing over the next couple weeks. Yes, I'm definitely juicing over the next couple weeks. Sorry again, I love you all and happy holidays. And I mean, anything with your shoulder is not gonna be any joke, but how does a woman in her 50s 
end up fracturing her shoulder. Like, you're not playing football. You're not playing sports. You're not a gymnast. Like, what happened? So a lot of people, you know, were really speculating. Like, damn, is her husband putting hands on her? You know, she never went into details on how she got this fracture. So basically, um, she was going to take some time off. She's supposed to come back on the 15th of January. That didn't happen. And now there's more rumors being swirled because her mother-in-law, Perlet Hunter, who is Kevin's mom, has come out and basically she's talking to the National Enquirer. I don't know how authentic this is, being that it's coming from the National Enquirer, but this is the rumor that's being put out there. The mother-in-law is basically saying that her son is beating the shit out of Wendy Williams. So this entire situation is really disturbing. I'm going to go ahead and read this article to you guys. So the National Enquirer reports that Wendy Williams has suffered horrendously at the hands of her husband slash manager Kevin Hunter who is reportedly shacking up with his mistress. The tabloids interviewed Wendy's mother-in-law, Perlette Hunter, who claims that Kevin attacked Williams by choking her, kicking her, and punching her in the face. The Enquirer claims that Wendy helped Kevin cover up the that Wendy helped Kevin cover up the abuse. But Kevin's mother, Perlette, says that she refused to remain silent after Wendy appeared to slur her words and suffer memory lapses during the episode of her popular talk show. I saw Kevin choking out Wendy another time. I witnessed him kicking the shit out of her and pushing her down the steps, Perlette told the Enquirer exclusively. The entire interview is going to be published in the National Enquirer's current issue, which is currently on newsstands. Honey. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. It's not funny whatsoever. I see a lot of people clowning her and saying, oh, well, that's what she gets. She talks about everybody else's business. She puts everybody else's shit out there, which is true. She does run her mouth about everybody else's personal business, their relationships and everything else. But damn it, is she alone? Okay. But my thing is, regardless of the situation, nobody deserves to be in an abusive relationship. Nobody deserves to get their ass whooped. And, you know, from what the mother-in-law is saying, if there's any validity to it. So as we all know, the National Enquirer may not always be a source that people trust you know I don't know if this is really his mom saying this or if they're just making this up but what I do know is that this is not the first time that Wendy Williams abuse has been put on blast for y'all who don't know, Wendy Williams and her husband was sued back in 2008 by a former employee. She was a talent scout for the Wendy Williams show. Well, the Wendy Williams radio show at that time. And so basically, she sued them for sexual harassment, for trying to ruin her reputation. And in those and in those legal documents, she also talked about how Wendy Williams was being abused by her husband as well. So this is not really far-fetched what the National Enquirer is saying. This tea has been out there for a while. I'm going to go ahead and read you guys this article. Go ahead and check this out. So it says here, in the complaint filed with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, Nicole Spence claims that Kevin Hunter Williams, the younger husband who does not work for WLS-FM, repeatedly expressed his desire to fuck her her and that she needed a real man in her life to mold me. Spence says that Williams did nothing to staunch the alleged abuse and in fact offered to take me shopping so I could dress like a sexy little bitch as Mr. Hunter demanded. And it doesn't end there. Spence also stated that Hunter got other employees including Wendy's co-host to get into that bitch's head in order to break her down physically and mentally and she also alleges that Hunter once charged at her and that he even assaulted his own wife choking her and pinning her against the wall of a studio tmz spoke to spence's lawyer kate weber who says that she intends to file a lawsuit in court after the eeoc reviews the case spence is still employed at wbls the station didn't respond to requests for comment though williams told the new york post yesterday the allegations are totally false this bitch is out of her mind so now that's what was reported back in 2008 and then radar online did an updated article on this and this was on january 2nd and they're talking about the lawsuit. Um, the girl had been employed with Wendy Williams from 2004 to 2006. And so what they're saying is what ended up happening, because she did take them to court, um, it was all types of tea. They even said that Wendy Williams' husband was trying to get somebody to kill um, Miss Jones. If you remember, Miss Jones was her competition in New York back in the day. So they're saying that what happened to the case is that the case was suddenly dismissed with prejudice, meaning that it can't be refiled until October 22nd, 2008 um they also tried to contact them recently but they heard nothing back Woo! Huh? 
money. All right, so you guys just heard me read that. So like I said, I mean, this whole Wendy Williams abuse situation, it's messed up. Nobody, male or female, should be having to deal with abuse and all that stuff. But this is definitely something not new. And I just feel like Wendy Williams has way too much money. She's way too old to be putting up with this bullshit. And the fact that she's been dealing with this for years says a lot. You know what I'm saying? How can you give advice and talk about everybody else's relationship, but you're dealing with your own bullshit behind the scenes? And that's why I say I don't look to anybody to be relationship goals because most people's relationships are not perfect most people are dealing with things you can look at the most perfect relationship and you never know what's going on behind closed doors so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts all right deuces <laughs> hey you guys it's your girl t and i hope you really enjoyed that video if you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals Definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.